good shot. In the world of hunting games, animals deserve to be endangered. They charge at you, they attack you, and th the fact that you're approaching them with a shotgun is inconsequential. Mother Nature is an unprovoked aggressor who must be dealt with properly in Remington Super Slam Hunting, Africa. Extreme long shot. Extreme long shot. Extreme chain. One of two Super Slam hunting titles currently available, this one obviously takes place in Africa. You travel from the continent's vast savannas to its dense jungles on a pointer-controlled safari, hunting everything from wildebeests to even tiny meerkats. Now, I typically avoid the debate over the virtual slaying of endangered animals, but I gotta tell you, pumping buckshot into a curious meerkat at point-blank range seems a bit unnecessary. Unless you hated the Lion King, uh, in which case, Hakuna Matata. Uncomfortable meerkat murder aside, Super Slam Hunting Africa is an on-rail shooter available exclusively for the Nintendo Wii. And although its terrible graphics and cheap price may understandably shake your confidence, this budget-priced hunting game is a steadier shot than you might assume. It's far from a bullseye, but given its price, Super Slam Hunting Africa at least hits the target. You play the game with a single Wii Remote, using the controller's pointer to aim your weapons. On-rail shooters have experienced a bit of a renaissance on Wii, and those controls are the reason. Pointing at the screen to aim enables pixel-perfect precision, and Super Slam Hunting Africa is no exception. Even animals that appear as mere specks on the horizon can be shot in the head with the Wii Remote. Precise and barbaric as that is, it's every bit as satisfying. And to its credit, the game is also surprising. There are 35 missions in the game's single-player mode, complete with an achievement system and even online leaderboards. Now, frankly, a budget title for Wii is the last place you'd expect features like those, and its developers deserve sincere credit. I mean, a little effort goes a long way on this platform. Charging anima. Fortunately for those too intimidated by charging hippopotami to hunt alone, Super Slam Hunting Africa also supports up to four players for local co-op and challenge modes. Games like this have a very specific demographic, and if you're not a part of it, this game isn't going to sway you. But if you like hunting games or light gun styled on-rail shooters, this game is a surprisingly solid option. It may look like a Nintendo 64 game at times, and the ability to purchase new weapons instead of automatically unlocking them would have been nice, but for $20 you could do a lot worse on Wii. And hey, if you're on the fence, think of it as Duck Hunt with Meerkats. I mean, that should be more than enough to convince you Remington Super Slam Hunting Africa is at least decent enough for a glance through the scope. Extreme Team! Extreme Team!